Hello everyone, my name is Ryan McKenna and I'm here today with my partner Kyla. Today we're going to be talking about our extensive research on similarities between computer-based communication using iMessages and conspiracy theories. We were able to look at both aspects in depth and then find similarities in different patterns using a concept map. We came up with 10 similarities between the two topics. In this presentation, we are going to be focused on four of our main topics. Versatility and self-confirmation, the type of emotion used in each topic, and misinformation. If you are all ready, we could dive right into it. In our research, we really found this to be interesting because even though both sides are extremely different, they are connected because they rely so heavily on emotion, even if it is not shown. Conspiracy theories are very reliant on the use of emotion due to the fact that these theories often require people believing in them, so people trying to explain the theories often use emotion to get their point across. The use of emotion is often heavy and trying to manipulate the ideas of others to believe their side and often used as a tool to keep the audience together with their ideas. With CMC using iMessages, there is no physical emotion shown, but there is emotion behind the conversations, which causes emotion to be shown behind the screen. As a result of this, emotion is a stepping stone for the tone of the communication and the direction it goes. This is different from conspiracy theories since they have physical emotions showing, but just as conspiracy theories, it controls people's opinion and their whole side. With the next part of our research, we wanted to focus on the use of misinformation in both topics, starting with CMC on iMessages. It is often shown that there is misinformation in iMessages because there is no other social signals or body language to help people really understand what a person is saying. On top of this, a message can be phrased a certain way to make it sound like they are saying one thing, but the other person is reading it as something else, therefore it is misinformation. With conspiracy theories, there is often misinformation to try and make a person's side seem correct in the best way that they can. With this, people can add different quotes, statistics, articles that seem like they are legit, but they often provide wrong or false information that leads to people believing something that is just not the truth. We see that there is misinformation in both topics, however, one starts with the basis of a statement and the other is the result of one. The next topic we are going to talk about is the similarities of self-confirmation in both topics. They are both actually very similar in the way that it is based on word choice and the way something is stated or viewed. Let's take a look. When looking at conspiracy theories, there are two sides to the self-confirmation that we typically see and look at. The first is when someone is trying to talk about their side of an argument, they often look at information that only looks at their side of the argument or that agrees with their theory. It is what we call self-confirming bias, where people just look at points that align with their own ideas. One of the other forms is talking to people who only agree with their own ideas. This is also self-confirmation since only talking to people who agree with you will cause them to agree with you and therefore not debate the ideas that you have since they have the same idea. When looking at CMC using iMessages, there is still a lot of self-confirmation, but in a different form than the conspiracy theories since it is more to themselves. As we talked about before, there is often miscommunication or misinterpretation in iMessages, which often leads to self-confirmation. In the example, we showed one person asked where they should have dinner, but the other person read the message and thought they were having dinner at the other person's place, which caused her to self-confirm her own idea instead of having the right idea. The last topic we wanted to talk about from our research was the versatility with both topics. Starting with iMessages. In a culture now that is so heavily reliant on digital communication, people tend to use iMessages because of how easy it is to use, but additionally it is often the gateway to other forms of CMC making it versatile. With texting, not only is it just messages, but there is also games, GIFs, emojis, links slash articles, and also so much more to build on the conversation and make it that much more advanced. 
With conspiracy theories, it is also very versatile in the ways that they create and spread the information on each theory. Each theory is loaded with information, and information is very unique in that it can be very easily spread, but in multiple different ways. By using sources like pictures, articles, videos, and others, the information is versatile in its form, but still spreads quickly. After really taking a deep dive into both CMC using iMessages and conspiracy theories, we were able to find a lot of connections between the two. In relation to the two, they both use emotion, but in unique ways that allow for the conversation to be furthered, while also being versatile to expand the conversation using other forms of media. Thank you all for coming to our cast talk today, and I hope you enjoyed our presentation. My name is Kyla, and my partner's name is Ryan. Have a good one, and thank you.